We know where Jefferson County voters can head to the polls this fall. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Doug Profit. Longtime Jefferson County Clerk Bobby Hoskall insists it offers more options than ever before. Those polling sites are sprinkled across Jefferson County and she says will be fair for everybody. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is joining us from the Russell neighborhood with more of the details we learned today. Hey, Chris. Hey, Doug, the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage will welcome voters through the early in person voting process all the way through Election Day. And unlike any other election, voters won't be assigned a location. They can go to any of them. That we give this everything we've got. And it's more, it's so important to me that they understand that every vote is going to count and we're going to take good care of this county when it comes to the election. Less than three months ago, the hashtag All Eyes on Kentucky put Bobby Holstlaw's work in the national spotlight. Pulling off the pandemic primary was a feat, but the general election includes a hotter order, and now we finally know what she intends to serve. Each early voting site will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday, October 13th through November 2nd. They'll double as Election Day polling locations from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. November 3rd. They include the Kentucky Expo Center, KFC Yum Center, Kentucky Center for African American Heritage, and a yet to be announced East End location. On Election Day, Valley, Ballard, and Shawnee High Schools and Thomas Jefferson Middle School will be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Jefferson County has 1,200 ballot styles. It's been a major hurdle in the past. Clerk Holsclaw insists it won't be this time for voters who can go to any of the eight locations. Wherever it is convenient for them at any of those locations, uh, they will be able to go. And all of those ballot styles will be at every location. A map shows where Clerk Holsclaw and her staff sprinkled those locations throughout Kentucky's most populous county. She has to announce the East End Supercenter and is keeping the door open for more and has until the end of the month to add any. The governor, secretary of state and board of elections must sign off before all is official. And I don't know what they're expecting. I mean, there are some counties that have more. There's some counties that'll have less, but I can promise you this, none of them are gonna have the size or locations that this county's gonna have. For those with absentee ballots who do not wanna place them back in the mail, the four early in-person voting locations like here will all have some of those drop boxes so you can swing by any of those four early voting locations and you can drop your absentee ballot there. Live in the Russell neighborhood, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.